Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna go through a uh, collection I have here. I'm a uh, huge Clive Barker fan. And um, uh, what I'm gonna go through here um, is based on his um, short um, story series called Books of Blood. I read them when I was younger and they always kind of uh, stuck with me here. So um, a lot of them have been made into um, graphic uh, novel form. Um, I know in one of my haul videos I went through these, but um, Tapping the Vein is one. Um, it's got several stories from the uh, the Books of Blood by um, the, uh, Eclipse, I believe. Yeah, Eclipse Books. And um, sorry if the camera's getting a little wobbly. I'm trying um, some new... Um, technology here so I can try to do uh, two hands um, basically it's a selfie stick clamp between my thighs so sorry for the visual and uh, book number two which um, I love that cover it remind me of um, Hellraiser but uh, as you can see they're uh, removing their skins um, yeah, you know, Clive Barker obviously created um, Hellraiser, Pinhead, um, based off his short story, short novella, The um, Hellbound Heart. Um, if you've never read it, um, Pinhead shows up briefly, is not mentioned by name, and is a, um, is a female. Um, love the artwork in um, these books. They're done very... Um, nicely um i've got one uh here this is the reason why i wanted to try the uh, new technology but i probably need a thigh master to squeeze together here but let's try um book four it's a die cut um the cover is um really cool but um as you can see there's uh a lot of uh, a lot of good artwork in here. The Madonna Hell's events. All these stories really, really stuck with me here. And then you um, get into um, also from the books of blood, but. Um, with their own titles, uh, The Life of Death. This is a really, really thick one. Uh, two stories in here, again, very um, great artwork. The uh, premise of this one, and this is one that really stuck with me with it being from, uh, from England, but uh, they discover a, a plague pit under a church, and this lady's drawn to it and basically contracts the plague and, you know, starts to... Uh, wander the city dread um they did make this into a movie um i did watch it similar to the story um i can't say i cared for it very much um it uh i had some aspects from the uh, from the story And then um, Revelations, this might be, um, uh, been, been a while, but I feel like this might be the, uh, the version of Lord of Illusions, um, another uh, Clive Barker movie. Um, a lot of these, um, or several of these, have been made into uh, to movies. Uh, Lord of Illusions, um, obviously Hellraiser has been one of his short stories. Uh, there have been... Uh, a Books of Blood movie, and they did um, make another um, recent one as well. Um, I always love this cover. This is one of the first ones that I uh, that I got. Son of Celluloid, and um, a lot of these stories just are so um, I won't even say bizarre or out there, just different. Um, you know, if you're looking for something different, not the mainstream, 
Um, a lot of these will, you know, zig left when you think it's going to zag right. It's really, um, again, they really stuck with me throughout my youth, my younger years, and a lot of them um, I do remember uh, in my brain. Um, a lot of them did stick in my brain when I see the title. And then um, another one of his stories um, is called We World. This is more um, fantasy, but there's horror elements into it as well. Um, basically, all the magical beings in the world are persecuted way back in, um, in the day. Um, you know, back before there was really civilization. So by magic, they um, all put themselves into this rug. And at one point in the, uh, during the story, the rug gets um, cut. So all these magical beings, the magic starts to leak out. So um, really, um, a really good story, really good read as well. Very well detailed. A um, lot of memorable characters. Again, a lot of these characters have stuck in my mind when I hear certain words. It does kind of flash back to, um, to these. And then the um, last one I bought at my LCS years ago called Fly My Eye. Um, again, it might be reprints of some of the uh, Tapping the Vein stories. I can't remember, but I bought it because they said it was signed. Um, not at the bottom, John Bolton. But um, that's supposed to be Clyde Barker's sign signature. Um, again, nothing verified, no COA, but the... Uh, the price on it um, when I picked it up, you know, I couldn't um, uh, couldn't complain, especially being a Clive Barker fan. Um, so it was really um, really a good grab in my opinion. So um, anyway, um, again, if you're looking for something to read other than comic books, I mean that's uh, you know blasphemy right there. But um, I really recommend Clive Barker's. Um, books of blood and any work by him too because they uh, really well written really um, well detailed um, very visual you got horror elements fantasy elements it kind of crosses uh, crosses everything so um, thanks for watching and we'll uh, see you on the next one